How are you? Welcome all my new watchers and my old ones and my subscribers. So, I guess when speaking of conditional acceptance, what I should have said before, now that I realize, is that refusal is not denial of consent. It's not correct denial of consent. To refuse is to be a belligerent in the system that you exist in, which is it's all run by courts and corporations and contracts, which are governments. And then they have these anomalies, if you will, that are armies and nuclear weapons and shit. Complicates things a little bit, right? There shouldn't be any violence in contract. It makes me wonder if we should have ever gotten to a point where we can communicate with everybody around the world. I'm not sure if that's is what is best. I don't know. Just a thought. So refusal is not correct lack of consent. You have to use conditional acceptance. You have to agree, accept their offer for value. That's what's polite. I'm sorry if you don't want to be polite, but this is the system that you exist in. And if you learn to play the game, and the game, you know, if you're being polite, why is that a detriment to you, to be polite? If it is, you should probably rethink how you perceive the world. To be grateful uh, heals you. It... it makes you happy even when there's no reason to be happy to be the opposite is either a witting but probably unwitting choice to be miserable and choose it choose it obviously there are extreme circumstances when you have people that perish and so forth where their physical bodies perish you know that's different but you know what I'm saying so you have to agree. I'll agree to anything you say. Whoever's coming up to you. Whoever's coming up to you and saying whatever outlandish thing or not outlandish thing. I want to pay for anything. Pay, whether it's money, pay, whatever it is. Restitution, pay, you know, working at your soup kitchen. <laughs> okay? I'm being funny, but... Uh, you know, if you can prove and provide proof that your charge pertains to me. If it pertains to me, absolutely. Ignorance is no excuse. If, if I did something wrong and they can enlighten me and show me that I did something wrong, I want to make up for that. Why would anybody not want to do that, right? I mean, that's, yeah, we all want to do that. But if it doesn't pertain to me, it's like, I, dude, uh, step on, man. You, you, you're barking up the wrong tree. This isn't your tree. If it was your tree, I would gladly let you piss on my tree. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I just wanted to do a video, it's been like a month. Uh, I'm, just a, I'm just a tuning fork of the ignorant masses because I have gained a lot of knowledge. However, I've never put much into practice other than reserving my rights.
sorry. But I have met somebody that he says, and I believe him until I, it's proven differently that his father was the honor guard for JFK. And he relieves people of their mortgages. He charges them half of what their mortgages, what's left on their mortgage, which is pretty exorbitant. However, if you own a hundred grand, if you owe a hundred grand, owe, quote unquote, and someone can say, give me 50 grand and it's gone and you own it now. So whatever, that's a, a bit of an, ex I would say it's a bit of extreme capitalism maybe. <laughs> But, uh, he's a good guy. I'm not gonna say his name. So, wh whatever country that you are in, because I know I have some subscribers from other countries, the mechanism that is your government is states of mind of individual, in a collective, people that agreed to something but it's still states of mind on paper and how can states of mind on paper just because that concept has employees that are living people that are acting in their official capacity tell you that you have to do this or can't do that because of the government, because of a presumed authority, presumed, presumption. If I presume that you uh, owe me some money and I've never met you, is that a correct presumption? No. How, can I, how could you owe me money? We've never met. But when you assume the correctness of a presumption, You, now you have an agreement. I, you know, if you knew what that agreement was, you wouldn't agree to it. And this is what I'm trying to convey in my <laughs> limited mental capacity, in, which has been aided by my obsessive compulsive disorder to dive into this stuff. You know, uh, I thrive on objectivity. I don't believe anything. It has to be vetted. It has to be absolutely vetted. I can tell you right now, anytime any presumed authority, whether it's some guy or whether it's a, a, an authority, someone in a uniform, you know, I'm going to start doing some videos talking and just breaking down words and the etymology of words. Like maybe uniform. The word uniform. How does that pertain to the uniform commercial code? What is the uniform commercial code? It's the UCC. Do you not know what that is? That's really bad that you don't know what that is. Really catastrophic to you and your time here, whatever here is. And, you know, don't take anything that I say as judgment because I've learned much and applied very little so far. Okay, nine minutes. Welcome. Good to see the rest of you that have been here. Appreciate you all. Uh, I, this channel will never be monetized. Uh, this is for mankind. I, I, I would donate any monetization to something that would further us, which might be just you or just me, if you know what I mean. Take care.